You know, farmers, yeah, we're out, we, you know, we're digging in the dirt. And we still use a shovel. I got a shovel in the back of my pickup. But when I started here, I never thought our tractors would be steering themselves. And, and UAVs are just the next evolution of that technology. We have a decrease in the amount of land base for farming, and we have more people in the world every day. So we have to do better at what we do farm-wise. So UAVs are a natural extension of increasing yield and quality of the products that we, we grow. So a UAV could fly the field, spot areas in the field that have beetle infestation, which you would not see at 7,000 feet on a fixed wing aircraft. And then you could then come across that field with any number of different ways to apply insecticide only to those very small areas that have the beetles. One of the big things that uh, is a misconception is that all drones are the same or that only quadcopters are drones or something to that effect. And really what we're talking about is aerial robotics. And aerial robotics is about deploying devices to actually go do useful work. And our system is different in that it's actually tailored to agriculture. Agriculture is the work that we're in, it's the space that we're in, and so you have to actually design the system all the way from the aerodynamics to the cameras to the data in a particular way. Our system all up is about 4.7 pounds, uh, can fly up to an hour, cover up to 800 acres, um, has an near-infrared camera on board and a visible camera, and the ability actually to uh, utilize thermal cameras as well. In some crops like blueberries we're putting in, you know, you could take a drone or UAV today and we could fly over individual rows and you could pick out plants. But then you put it on a crop like potatoes, you know, you go from 15, 17 hour plants per acre to potatoes that have 26, 27,000, 30,000 plants on our seed farm. And then it, it, it's a whole different problem because you're, the amount of data that you're handling is huge. And to be able to pick out an individual plant that's on, you know, six or seven inch spacing versus two and a half foot spacing, um, there's a lot of work that's got to be done there. Growers have to spend money to make money because of the, the high yields out here. You have to use fertilizer, you have to use water, you have to do these things, but you got to use it right. You got to use it, and they do. But every way we can save on the use of their dollars, save, use a little bit less nitrogen, use a little less pesticide, a little less water, every time we do that, we are increasing the opportunity for yields because we're keeping those plants healthier, longer, and in so being, will allow us then to be able to feed a very hungry world.